Oh, wow, James. So did you get a torch after all? Yeah. It's lovely. Hmm. You wanted a torch for a long time now. Yeah. My dad said he'd get me one ages ago and I kept thinking he'd forgotten. He promised he'd get me one. Your dad always keeps his promises. Yeah. He said he'd get you a new torch. Yeah. And now you've got one. Yeah. So that's lovely, isn't it? No. Why not? Well, it might look lovely, Jessie, but it isn't. Well, I'm disappointed with it. But now you can be very bold and daring and go out in the dark. That's really exciting. No, it isn't. Not with this torch anyway. Oh, why not? Because this torch is rubbish. No, it isn't. It's fabulous. Why don't you try turning it on? I can't. Well, why? Why not? Because it doesn't work. It's broken. It's rubbish. Are you sure it's broken? Yeah, it won't work at all. Have you tried the switch? Jesse, I've tried the switch a million zillion times and it won't work. Have you read the instructions? How can I? The instructions are all in about 20 different languages. I don't understand any of them. It's ridiculous. And anyway, you don't need to have instructions on how to press a button on and off. Let me see the instructions. Ah, oh, here's a bit of English. What does it say then? Something daft like push button. No, it doesn't say that. It says something else. What else does it say then? Does it say throw it away in the nearest bin because it's rubbish? No, James, it doesn't say that either. Well, what does it say then? It says insert batteries. Oh. So you did that, did you, James? You, you inserted the batteries. What batteries? Um, probably these batteries on the floor by here. Uh, no, no, I didn't, no. Oh, the batteries give the torch power to work. There's no power without the batteries. I know. Uh, let's do that then, shall we, James? Let's give the torch some power to work. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Come on then. So, we unscrew the bottom bit like this, see? Yeah, I know that. I'm not stupid. And then we put the batteries in like this, see? Yeah, I know what to do. I'm not daft. And then we switch the torch on like this, see? Yes, I know how to push a button, Jessie. There! The torch now has the power to work. It's just like when God fills us with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us power too. Power to live a life that pleases him. And just like you had to wait for your dad to keep his promises about giving you the torch. So the apostles had to wait for a while before God gave them the power of the gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. When he filled them with his power to work for God. 
to speak boldly to others about how Jesus had been sent to save them. But didn't all the people there at Pentecost speak lots of different languages, like all the different languages on those destructions? Yes, they did. Well, how did they understand what the apostles were saying then? Well, the Holy Spirit gave them the power to hear and understand what the apostles were saying in their own language. God's message can be understood by everyone, whoever they are and wherever they're from. Wow, that's amazing. God's power is amazing. Yeah, so is my torch. <laughs> you can be very bold and daring and go out in the dark now. Not really. Why not? I don't like the dark. It's scary. There's no way I'm going out in the dark. Well, why did you want a torch then? I don't know, really. Oh, James. <laughs> <laughs>